told your grandmother I was marrying your father. She threatened to disown me. She said my children would be mongrels. My father wanted to lock me in, but she told him it's her life. Let her ruin it. I wrote to her when each of you were born. She never wrote back. I'm glad she didn't die hating me. The estate is yours. Why are we still here? Technically, the house is now property of the Viscount, since its owner died without an heir. If we went there now, we would just be squatters. But if the Viscount acknowledges our rights, we can get back more than the house. We can get back our name. Grandmother didn't want you to leave. She tried holding on to you the only way she knew. She would have been so proud of you. You're everything she wanted in an Amel grandchild. She might have had a hard time accepting it at first, but she would have loved you, all three of you. Oh, Bethany. She was such a sweet little girl. Never cried. Just looked at you with those big eyes. Bartrand's expedition leaves. I couldn't do anything for Bethany, but with luck, I can at least give us a home. I will talk to the Viscount about our estate. I'm with you, sister. For now. He wasn't like this in Lothering. I'm thinking this is the open field. Come on. Let's play Fetch the Invisible Ball. He just needs to get out more, don't you, boy? <laughs> I'm with you, sister. For now. So, what? Are you here to gloat? Gamlin's the idiot again. Gamlin's the fool who can't hold his money when it's given in a bloody silver basket. I tried, you know, when Leandra left. But no one was ever going to live up to her. What was she like, as a girl? We're only a year apart. That was time enough for Leandra to get our parents wrapped firmly around her little finger. They showed her off at every opportunity. The beauty, the scholar, the light of their lives. As far as they were concerned, they should have stopped there. I've seen the nobles in this town. Your parents must have had a fortune. Where did it all go? Well, it's not like I stood at the side of the wall. Jesus. And, you know, a man's got needs. I'm not denying I spent more on myself than I should have, but I figured it'd all work out. So, the best way to make Daddy love you was to steal his money. I changed their filthy sheets and wiped their chins through two bouts of cholera, and the last word Father said was... Leandra. I'm not looking for love, but at least I got the money. Your mother's 
busy writing to the Viscount. If you want more touching family stories, go to her. You have Malasleen. The same markings that the Dalish have. Yours are not made of lyrium. No, they're made of blood. Our blood. That's what Malasleen means. Blood writing. It's a mark of adulthood. Mine were carved into my flesh against my will. In a ritual I remember only for the agony it caused me. Those who harm a house of the Maker have done harm unto the Maker himself. Ugh, 